Summer Wittenberg Engineers, this is Mrs. LeBlanc with an update on our summer library program. We've been having a great time each week with students joining us for book checkout and for a weekly green craft challenge. One of our students recommended that we have a video green craft challenge so that the boys and girls who couldn't come to the library would be able to participate in the green craft challenge at home. Ms. Durant and I thought this was a great idea, so we hope you enjoy our very first video green craft challenge. This week, we're going to be making dog toys out of recycled t-shirts. Our directions are going to be in two parts. In the first part, I'll show you how to lay out your old t-shirt and cut it into pieces that you're going to be able to use to make the toy. In the second part, Ms. Durant will demonstrate how to braid the pieces into your finished dog toy. I hope you enjoy making this green craft, and please make sure to make a few extras to share with your local animal shelter, which is what we're going to be doing with our finished dog toys that we make on Monday. I hope you're having a great summer, and I can't wait to see you in August. Okay, are you ready for part one, preparing your t-shirt? First, you want to take the t-shirt that you'd like to recycle. The t-shirt does need to be clean, but it can have a few holes and it can have a few stains because you're going to be cutting it up to make the dog toy. You want to lay the t-shirt out flat on a flat surface such as a table or a countertop. You're going to want to get a grown up to help you with this part because you're going to need a pair of sharp scissors to cut the t-shirt. The first thing you're going to want to do is to cut off the bottom seam of the t-shirt. Next, you want to cut the t-shirt just below where the arms are. With the remainder of the t-shirt, you're going to very carefully cut in long lines across the t-shirt to make one inch strips. When you get done, you're going to cut each end of the strip so that you have a long ribbon of t-shirt fabric. These are the pieces that you're going to braid together to make your dog toy. In the next part, Ms. Durant will demonstrate how to braid the different pieces of t-shirt to make our finished dog toy. Good morning. This is a wonderful craft to do with friends so that you can get lots of different colored t-shirts. Luckily, we had a whole lot of friends at the city of Greenville donate their leftover old t-shirts so that we'd have lots of different colors to choose from. I've been doing this craft at the community centers for the past week and these are some finished examples that some of my students have completed. Here is an example of someone who took three different colors and braided them together in three strips. So there's a solid yellow, a solid blue, and a solid gray to make a nice combination. Here is an example of somebody who chose a lot of different colors. These are also examples of the same thing. So they combined all sorts of different colors to get very bright, colorful dog toys. Depending on how many colored t-shirts you have and what you want your final product to look like, you can choose three different colors or lots of different colors for your dog toy. Once you've got your t-shirt strips and you've picked your colors, now it's time to stretch your t-shirt. You'll notice that the edges on this are all ragged. You don't need these strips to be very straight because we're going to take them and pull just like this. The edges will roll up. We st stretch them out really hard and you end up with a nice long piece of t-shirt ribbon. First, take your three strips of t-shirt, lay them out flat on the table, take a piece of masking tape and tape them down. If you don't have a piece of tape, you can have friend hold this end or you can tape them to a piece of cardboard if you don't have a table available. Next, we will spread our three strips out like this. Now we're ready to braid. Start with the right strip, bring it over the center, spread them out, Grab the left strip, bring it over the center, and spread them out. Continue this pattern. Right, over left, over middle, spread them out. Left, over middle, spread them out. Right, to the middle, spread them out. Left, 
to the middle, spread them out. Continue right, left, spread, right, left, spread. Continue the pattern right to the center, left to the center, until you have braided the entire strip. Once you're finished with your braid, leave the tape on one end and set it aside. Then repeat that entire step two more times so that we have three braided strips. Then, leaving the tape on one end, we will take the untaped ends, put them together, and tie a knot. You may need some help with this step. Once you have your knot, pull really, really, really hard. Next, we will lay the knotted end flat and repeat our braiding step. Right over the middle, left over the middle. Tighten it up, right over the middle, left over the middle. Continue this until you have braided all three strips together. Now it's time to remove the tape. Holding this end, we will take our pieces of tape off, and this is the tricky part. We have to tie one more knot. Wrap it all the way around, grab your end, pull it through, and once again, pull really, really hard. And now, we have a completed braided dog toy. Take your scissors and trim the end so that it looks nice and pretty. Thank you.